In this video, I'm going to fit a, a Trauma iNet X panel. Uh, these are the these are these great new uh, panels that are um, that, that you can change from the existing um, Trauma. Um, uh, I think it's a, a CP control panel, the iNet ready one. Uh, this is a, a lot better panel. The trouble is, it's uh, not straightforward fit because it's actually physically a larger a larger product. So I'm going to just go through it and just see you know how easy it's going to be and just share it with you as i go through the process so this is the uh, the product what you'll you'll get um let's just open up the unboxing uh, there's a nice welcome welcome thing you've got instructions in lots of different languages uh, this is the actual product itself Also in the box, you get a, a fuse holder for inline, for an inline, I think it's a one amp fuse. Uh, might be less than that. Uh, a lead and the communication lead. Now I've read the instructions. Um, I basically marked out where the new slot was gonna be. Hopefully I'll be able to keep this part of the slot existing. And I just need to take this piece out. Now there is a little bracket just there on the other side, which this just misses. I measured it just to make sure. I put in the five millimeter holes in the corner. I'm then going to cut out the rest of that uh, with a multi-tool. Okay, this is the multi-tool I'm gonna do with a very fine blade. Now it is four mica uh, on a polystyrene base. And so uh, I have to get the vacuum cleaner on and uh, suck up these little bits of polystyrene as I do it. I was going to do it with a um, with a um, jigsaw, um, but there's there's no point. It's going to be very very simple, simple um, simple cutting, and I've got to just make sure because it's like a four mica. I need to very, be very very careful that it doesn't chip. Hence the tape marks it all up, and we're ready to go. So to get the uh, old panel off, we remove the knob. and undo the screw. It comes off. To reveal the back panel before screws. I've already cut this out. So then disconnect the mains lead and the communication lead. I'll try to do this all one handed. So this is it all cut out. Uh, now all we need to do is just to find Leads. Okay, so I've just metered it, and as as I expected, the um, the one with the black line on the existing is the neutral, and this is the live. Uh, this is a Bursner um, 690G um, Lyceo Harmony. Uh, so the actual again the cables on this are red live and brown neutral. Okay. And it's worth checking with a meter just to make absolutely sure. That's the inline fuse fitted. And we got down to down to the end there, which goes into the new board. Okay, I've decided to remove the, the standard um, connectors. These um, Waco or Waco connectors. Um, I've left them on the old board, which obviously I'll be uh, advertising that there's nothing wrong with this old iNet ready Truma um, control panel so that will go with the instruction booklets and I'll probably even include this lead but uh, because I'm not going to need it because it's already in in the motorhome already there we go so right it's just a matter now of connecting it up and fitting it to the motorhome this little front piece comes off just by slipping a screwdriver into the side slot there and it all comes off. And, um, and we've got this piece here, this is the bit that locks it. And then as you push the whole thing into the hole, it pushes those two buttons and then this bit fires out. Let me just show you. So as you push it back in, it hits that and then that piece comes up and locks it. So you arm it by pushing them in it's just a matter of putting it 
into the hole, into the hole, and then pressing it in, and it should lock. Um, obviously, first I've got to connect it. Okay, so the connection. Now the 12 volt fits on that end there. I've got nothing to point it at, but to the extreme right, and uh, the data in the data port. So that's the leads fitted, um, and I cable tied a loop on the back there just to take the tension off of that lead. Okay, so you press it in, and you'll hear it click. Okay, that's the two the two pieces locking pieces firing up there and there. So it's pretty much in position. Yeah. Screw. What you do is literally keep keep loosening it, keep loosening it, and then when it's clear from the actual material. If you, when you actually then go to tighten it up, it will then spin round into the correct position and unlock it. So it's quite a clever idea. Um, I say the screw hole is pretty much hidden. You're not going to really notice it, but um, I do. <laughs> so I'm going to be filling this at some later date. And a little tiny little bit of touch of filler and then a, a bit of clever paint brushing. And I suppose I've better put this last piece on. So that just clips into position. And there we are. Okay, so choose English and continue. I must admit, I'm not that impressed with the um, the touch screen at the moment. Um, hopefully, it will get better. But uh, it seems to be a. It doesn't really sort of. It's not doing much when you put your finger on it. But hopefully, uh, things will get. So this is the panel fitted and I've now filled the um, small screw holes underneath so you can't really notice them there anymore. And that's the product all, all up and running, as you can see. Um, the, it seems to be a lot better now on the, um, the, the actual touch screen. I can just, with a simple touch, you switch on and off the heating. Um, uh, there's the the app. You can add more more devices. At the moment, I just got the my iPhone on. Yeah, it's great. You can switch the whole thing off. Uh, you have all your general settings and everything. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this product. Uh, it's easy to fit, a bit scary in places, but um, the kit came with everything that I needed. So um, good luck. I hope this video helps and. Um, I hope you bite the bullet, buy the product, fit it. It's, it's great.